Hey you guys and welcome to the first part of the Legacy Challenge. I love a good challenge on The Sims 4. Black Widow, Legacy, name it, I've attempted it on my personal place. But every time I watch a series on YouTube, they never finish the Legacy Challenge. Now some are still in the process of doing it, but they've been doing it for so long. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start the Legacy Challenge. And I'm going to make it all the way through. And y'all going to come all the way with me. We're going to make it through all 10 generations following all of the rules, including that stupid little trait generator thing. I have the website saved, so y'all be seeing me do that too. So we in this thing. We finna do it. So let me introduce you to the first heir, Tyler Graham. Now he wants to find his soulmate. He wants his soulmate in life. He doesn't care about the rest of the world. Actually, he do because he's materialistic. But he doesn't care to have like three, four, five hoes at one time. He just wants that one soulmate. Now, he is materialistic. He likes the finer things in life. No problem in that either. Like, yeah, shake that money. Shake it. Um, he's also a vegetarian, which a lot of my Sims here lately have been vegetarians. I just, I love the vegetarian trait. It was one of my favorite traits for Sims 3. So I was excited that it's now on the Sims 4. And he is active. Very active. Just run around. This is what he looks like. I got him several outfits. This is his first outfit. And yes, he has gray hair. That's his choice. He chose to dye his hair gray. And I supported it because he looks good with gray hair. <laughs> Alright, and then there's this outfit. You know, real simple. His favorite color is pink, if you can't tell. Y'all didn't see that. Um, and then here's his third outfit. Yeah, see? All very basic, very chilled, you know. He, they don't, he doesn't have any money, so he's not going to be over the top. Hell, I think this is the closest to being over the top, and that ain't really much a bit of alcohol. Blah, 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 blah. But that really isn't much of it at all. So, I'm just going to cut the whole part out. This is his formal. Yes, yeah, slick back, you know, look good, you know. Uh, this is his workout outfit. It looks good, you know, got the shades on. Now, I couldn't find nothing good in pink, so I just made it white and black. So, yeah. This is his sleepwear, you know, got the t-shirt, the little shorts, the socks. And then his party wear. Like I said, real basic, nothing too great. And his swimwear. Bada beam, bada boom. Pink is his favorite color, and I'm here for it. Alright, so, let's go ahead and hop into the gameplay. I'm excited. Alright, here we are, here, here we are. Now, I got, let me show you the lot that I picked. It's the one in Willow Creek. You know, there's only two 50 by 50 locks. One's in Oasis Springs, and one is in Willow Creek. I placed him here in Willow's Creek. I demolished his house. I gave him this spot. Now you might notice that there are some changes. The park has been updated. All this stuff here has been updated. I went to the gallery and I downloaded a whole bunch of new lots for Willow's Creek, for Oasis Springs. It's the same for them. Bam. Mm-hmm. I don't think I did it for Windenburg. I think I left Windenburg alone because I really, yeah, because I really love this scene over here it's amazing and then Magno, uh, did I put a restaurant in here I think I did I did oh no I put a retail I put a bakery I put a bakery Magnolia bakery and then Newcrest I loaded Newcrest up with a whole bunch of new stuff look at it and I left some empty spots for houses you know for when it's time for the extra children in the house to leave you know they can go to Newcrest or they can be moved to the city there's Forgotten Hollow I haven't done nothing to either, and I haven't done anything to stand my shoe no either. I've also given a lot of the townies a makeover, especially in Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, and Windenburg. I left um, City Living, <laughs> stand my shoe no, and Forgotten the Hollow alone because, you know, they're still relatively new and I like the way they look. But everybody else didn't got a makeover in these three towns. No shame in it either. No shame at all. Alright, so let's go on back here. Oh, my Sims are already here. Um, exit. No, not that. Sorry, y'all. How do I go back? Oh. <laughs> Ignore me. Okay. So he had $20,000. He bought this pot of land, which was $10,000. 
and according to the rules, you must buy this Knight of the whatever table. Yeah, the Knight of the Octagon table suit of armor, which is 8,200 simoleons. Why, I don't know. Which leaves us 1,800 simoleons. So let's get, you know, some basic stuff. I'm not going to try to build anything just yet. FYI, I am a terrible builder. So, a part of this challenge is to make me a better builder than what I am. Hopefully, this will help me grow as a builder because, like I said, I am terrible. But for right now, we are going to just give him like a tent. He's, he's going to be very outdoorsy, you know. I don't even know where to find the tent. Will the tent be in here? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No. Alright, so let's search. Tent. Here we go. Just gonna get this here basic tent. Bam. Alright. Now um let's go get some outside stuff. Um I need the outside oh that would be in the showers. Even though it is an outside shower. There it is. You know, just kinda place that right there. And then a toilet. Ooh. But right now, our toilet is going to be this bush. <laughs> I'm terrible. But I'm doing it. You hear me? All right. And um, let me see. Let me see. Outdoor cooking. Should we give him a grill? Oh, that'll take all our money. Hold on now. Hold up. Wait a minute. Where's the campfire? Where would I find the campfire? Here it is. Okay. Roast them and toast them. Campfire. Rags on fire, this traditional rock. How much is it for 50? Cool beans. We'll be able to cook some of the fish we catch. Because we're fishing. We're going to be able to, we're going to get a job. We're going to have all the coin. We're going to be working. How much is this cooler? 275. Before I do that, I need a chair. How much are these chairs? 135. Ooh, two, I'm not trying to, I ain't trying to go over the top with it. So we're just going to get them this little float out chair. There you go. Mm-hmm. Let's move it right there so we can see him better. Now with this one hundred and seventy dollars that is left, I don't think we have enough for this cooler now, no. So we need a hundred more dollars for that. But this this is basically it. He lives on a campground right now. He's basically camping, you know. Let's not keep oh he needs a toilet. Oh wait, he has a toilet. <laughs> Lord forgive me. Okay, um, yeah, this seems pretty it. This is his little campground he got going on right now. Let's go back into the gameplay. Alright, Mr. Tyler, Mr. Tyler. Let's go around. First, let's get you a job. First things first, let's get you a motherfucking job. Because we need the money. So let's go. Come on. Get on that phone. And I think I'm going to make him an astronaut. Astronaut makes good money. Straight off the back, you make good money being an astronaut. But that means I'm going to need a chess table for a promotion because you got to play chess. We can go to the park. And while we're at the park, we can look for stones and shit. So that will be cool. Um, Let me look through these real quick just to make sure that's the route I want to go with him. Ooh, I can make him a politician, but I ain't got time for that. So, yeah, we're going to do astronaut. So astronaut, there we go. I'll be there tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Now we need to play some chess. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the park. If this will ever load up. There we go. We're going to go to the park. We're going to look for some crystals and some metals and some collectibles so we can sell them. And we're going to play some chess. Yeah, that sounds good to me. All right, we are here. We are here. Now, let's take a look at this park. I didn't get really a good look at it. I just kind of placed it because it was different. Okay. Oh, we, is this a little place we can get married? Really? No? No? Okay. Thought it was. Set me up for failure. Oh, we got some plants over here. What do we got? We got pomegranate tree, a cherry. No, that's a spice pit. It has apple, pomegranate, and cherry on it. Yes, God, won't he do it? That's an apple tree. A lemon tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I did not know this came with a garden. Oh, and it has everything. Oh, it has everything. Does it have blackberries? Honestly, that is the only thing I want out of all this stuff. I want blackberries. So do we have blackberries? Let me see. Blackberries. There it is. And it's perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll be here long enough to do all that. So here's the chess table. Go ahead and have you play some chess. <gasps> Nikki's here! Like I've mentioned before, Nikki's going to be in each one of my LPs. Hello, Miss Minaj. Your glitchy hair. I love it. Oh, there we go. You're back. Ugh. I worked so hard on her, and I know I've said that before, but I've really worked hard on her, and I'm proud of that one. So go on. Oh, is that a trash plant? Why the hell would you want a trash plant? Okay, okay, okay. So let's look around, see if we can find some collectibles. Some collectibles. I see some mushrooms. Well, if it's created, does that mean they have to put down the collectibles? Because if that's the case, I might be screwed with looking for collectibles here. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got the trick or treat thing going on over here. Uh huh. Got the new statues. Cute little place. To... But they got all this good. Look at oh, look at that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scream like that, but look at all they got the pup. Okay. Okay, whoever made this is legit. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I didn't mean to pause it. Who are you? You are Max. Mm -mm, Max. Mm -mm. I don't have time for you, sir. Uh, moving on. Let me see. Let me see. Is there some collectibles out here? We need some collectibles, y'all. Looking for collectibles. Well, damn. I might have just screwed myself on the whole collectible looking part. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And let's look over here. There's usually some over here somewhere. There's a trash can. Oh, hello. Found one. Aha. Dig. Alright. Is that the only one over here? Do we got some out here by this little area where we're going to fish? Okay. Okay. Let me zoom out some more. Let's see if I can see some more. Let's see. Oh, frogs. Frogs work too. And then, hello, I see you over there. Trying to hide from me. You're trying to hide from me. Alright, dig. And let me see. Run around. There's some more frogs. Here we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look for some frogs. Uh huh. Uh huh. I think that's all we got here right now. Is there anything over here in this area? Oh, I see frogs. I see frogs. Hopefully we get that hundred dollar frog and we can keep breeding it over and over and over again and keep getting more and more money from it and then just sell it for like, oh, there's some rocks right here and sell it for like a whole bunch of money because that's what I do in my personal plays. I'll get that hundred dollar frog. I think it's called the eggplant frog and then bam, baby, just keep breeding it with any frog and you'll be good. Can you hurry up? I should have hit the fast forward button. Let's go check. What do you mean dirty surroundings? What's dirty around you? Who dirty? Who di Oh, it's the trash plant. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know why it's there. Ooh, ooh, everything's starting to, what are these? Strawberries, they're perfect. Okay. Hi, Nikki. Where you going, Nikki? Oh, are you talking to, oh, that's Hugo. Yeah, that's Hugo. You talking? He, he is a teenager, Nikki. As long as you're just making friends, we don't have time for a case, Nikki. I would hate to have to make him a lawyer, cause I will to get you out of trouble <laughs> in a heartbeat. All right, are we done yet? Come on, finish up, finish up. Shouldn't take this long. I want to dig. Come on, come on. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. Retreat. 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 All right, good, good, good. All right, let's um, zoom out and let me get over here to this water so we can do some fishing. Fishing, do some fishing. This is real beautiful over here, and I just love the lighting. All right, so here we go. Get some fishing done. You still sitting at that table? Get your ass. Oh Lord, how do, how do I get you back down? There we go. Mm, that still don't look right. Y'all work with me. I'm still learning how to do these camera angles. There we go. All right, come on. Let's go get these rocks. Go get this coin. Matter of fact, pause. You go do that while I stay here and look at these plants because I really want this blackberry to harvest before we go. Damn, another trash plant? 
There's no need for all these trash plants. We got the death flower, so if we ever want to make the ambrosia, we just got to go to angelfish. I dug up a capsule, which I'm going to sell that capsule whole because they're usually those little collectible things and they're not really worth my time, so. Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, damn. Let's go follow him. Get the frog. Give me the eggplant frog. Give me the eggplant frog. You gonna go? You just gonna stand there and look at it. Tyler, are you just gonna stand there? Okay, there we go. Let's go. Eggplant, eggplant, come on, eggplant. Oh my back. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I'm not sure if y'all heard the popping of the back. All right, we're gonna stand there again, Tyler. Hello, hello. Let's go, let's go. Can I see the frog you just dug out? Sir. Okay, there we go. Ugh, a street bleep. That's like $10, right? <laughs> I've done this too much. I know the price is up. <laughs> Goodness, I'm terrible. All right, Mr. Tyler. What we got now? What we get now? Ooh, we got a fossil. Sometimes they're higher, sometimes they're not. I'm not sure if I want to take that risk. I really just want my coin. So we might just sell it. <laughs> just sell it all. Come on, get your butt over there now. Don't you get caught up on this frog like you did on that last one. And you are. Maybe it's just something about the frogs. Hopefully, oh, there we go. Hopefully that's the eggplant you're getting. Come on. Alright, what did we get? Here we go again. <laughs> Alright. A striped eggplant. Yes. No, I could have sworn the eggplant frog was a hundred dollars. Well damn. Well hopefully this last frog he finna gets a hundred dollars. Cause if not I'm just gonna sell all three because there's no point in keeping a ten dollar frog and keep breeding it. He'll breed it ten times, you finally get that hundred dollars. That's just not worth it. So we're just going to get rid of the whole damn thing. Pose. Is that Clara? I think that's Clara. Hi, Clara. How you doing? Mm-hmm. All right. Start digging. Go ahead and sell this while you're handling that business. Sell it. Yep. All right. Let's sell this, too, for 50 bucks. Yes, make that coin. Gonna try to get enough to get an easel, cause an easel you can start painting, and then there's nothing we can do now. Like we'll be painting the whole time. This whole finding frogs and collectible stuff is just not my cup of tea. Now, spotted leaf frog, eggplant, all ten dollars. So guess what? We're finna get this little thirty dollars, and we finna move on with our life. So he's gonna go fish, so he can catch him some dinner, cause that's what he's doing. He's catching him some dinner because. We ain't got no money for food. We really don't. We're gonna fry it. Hello? We're gonna fry it up. Are we not going? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I wanna sell this item. Okay, game. Stop glitching out on me. And it's doing it again. There we go. Alright, he's acquired the fishing skill. Come on, catch something. Yeah. Throw that rod out there. Go deep in that water. <laughs> God, I cracked myself up. <sighs> Go ahead. Let's, let's fast forward a lot. Oh, your social's getting low. We might need to go see your future wifey. Yes, I created her. I know you're supposed to find one of the townies, but I had to create her. She's somewhere. We might just go to her house. She lives in Newcrest. <laughs> oh yeah, she lives in New Chris with her sister and her sister's baby. So um I love her. I had so much fun creating her and him. Honestly, today as I'm recording this, I dyed his hair gray. He was blonde. But I'm like, you know what? Gray stands out more. That stands out like way more. Who do we have over here? Well he's fishing. He caught something. We'll look at what he caught in a minute. You look familiar. I made you. Who are you? Luna. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gave you a makeover, Luna. See, this is Luna now. Mm-hmm. And then who? I didn't make you. I didn't give you no makeover. Cedric Herbert. Nah, bro. I don't know you. You must be one of those random townies that just generated. 
We're up there, Salem and Akira with Clara. And who's this? Summer Holiday and Alyssa Bloom. I didn't do Alyssa Bloom either. She must be a random one as well. Ugh, I don't have time to do the random Oh, we got food over here. Shut up. Looks like the fishness area is too. Okay, come grab a serving. Yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna pop on somebody else's food over here. You got some fish though, so you'll be able to cook it for tonight. How long do we have oh it's rare. <gasps> it's a puffer fish. Oh, um I don't know. If he cooks it and it's good, we'll eat it. But if it's bad, he ain't eating it. Mm -mm. We just started this legacy challenge. He is not finna die on me. No sir, no ma'am, no ham. Alright. So let's go ahead and get you to the bathroom. Go into the bathroom. Well, the restroom, because you're in public. Uh huh. Okay, that's enough eating. You did good. Can I take, like, this whole plate if I want to? <laughs> no. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to build up this money, okay? I'm trying to get this coin. We got to get this coin one way or another. All right. There you go. Go use the restroom. Hurry up before you pee on yourself. We're going to go meet your wifey. She's not your wife yet, but <laughs> she will be. You know, how far is the restroom away? That should be athletic skill, all this jogging he's doing. That should automatically generate as an athletic skill. Because they jog everywhere. And I'm like, that should count for something. Hell. Ooh, that's my boo. Damn, where's the bathroom at? Is it across the street? I could have sworn. You know what? Boy. No, no, we, we finna go see your old future girlfriend. We're gonna go introduce ourselves, you know. You know, build a friendship first because he wants his soulmate. He doesn't want just a one night stand. He wants a soulmate. So, here's the jump. Is she home? She better be home. Her ass is not home. Where is she? Where are you? Family Park in Willow Creek. <gasps> Oh, you're where I am. Well, I, 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 excuse me. Well, let's find you. Damn, you gotta pee. The, oh, yep. the bathroom's right there. He's the bathroom, nigga. Damn. All right, all right, all right. Where are you, Estelle? Ooh, so Estelle, please tell me that's not you roaming the streets in your wedding dress. Girl, it is you. Why can't you call over? This sim is too far away to call over. Oh, I do have the MC Commander mod. Just saying, I do. I've said it before. Well, we're gonna follow you until um you, he gets out the restroom, so I can so that we can introduce ourselves to you. You better not be leaving, cause I'm be mad. It is 8:49 though. It's getting late, so if you do go home, yeah, I won't be too mad. I'll just have to follow you home. That sounds hell stalkerish, but we're gonna follow you home, Estelle. Ooh, who is this? Is that Cassandra? No, that's Lilith. Okay, Lilith. All right, Lilith. Let me look at you, Lilith. All right, are you a vampire, Lilith? Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. I was trying to get a look at Lilith. Well, hell, I've already gone up. Might as well see if she went home. Because she left the park. So did she go home? She did go home. Let's go visit her. I'm going to knock on your door and be like, Hi, I'm your future husband. <laughs> so... Drop whatever you're doing, come live at my campsite with me, and we'll roast fish happily ever after. Alright, we're here, we're here. So let's knock on the door. You do not have to pee. What's wrong? Oh, the public restroom was gross. I know. I've been to some public restrooms, and I'm like, I am glad. I am so glad I'm a boy, because mm -mm -mm, you couldn't pay me to sit on that. There it is. There she is, Mrs. Stell. Come on in. Thank you for letting me in here. Where is she? Oh, he, is he playing in the toy? What is your nephew doing? Um, Jamal. Jamal Johnson. Get your little ass up that damn toy. What the heck? You know what? That's she. That's she. That's y'all. I'm just, I'm here to introduce myself to my future wife. That's all I'm here for. And here's my new, my, my future sister-in-law. Miss, I think your name's Wendy, right? Oh, Kimberly. I did change it to Kimberly. Yes. Miss Kimberly Johnson, my future sister-in-law. And my future nephew right there. Hey, nephew. I ain't touching you because I know where you've been. 
Okay, so we've introduced ourselves. All right, all right. So, um, let's gossip and then let's, um, praise the vampire lifestyle. Why the hell not? Discuss interest, um, get to know. Oh, let me press play. That might help. Um, enthuse about space because you're, you're an astronaut now. Fire up. Um, enthuse about vegetarianism. And, um, hello. Here we go. Get to know. I'm trying to get to know all three of her traits this one time. Because if you wait till their relationship is a little further down the line, like say they're already romantic and stuff, it's harder to learn their traits. So I'm going to try to learn them all now. She's family orientated. I said that all wrong, but you know what I mean. Okay. Tell an engaging story. Um, let's hug. Oh, snap. We're, we're close enough to hug now? All right. Um, ask about her day. How was her day? Um, let's tell an another engaging story. Oh. Useful. <laughs> I'm just popping through these. Oh, look at Jamal. He is so handsome, so little. Oh, Kimberly's going to have a hard time with him when he gets older. All right, vegetarian. We already know that. Oh, she's a vegetarian too. Okay. And she's a bookworm. So that's everything, right? Bam. Now let's ask her about her career. I don't think she has a job. Ask about her career. Let's go ahead and ask her if she's single. I do have friendly ask if single on. I think I do. If not, I need to go turn it on. Um, I don't. So deep conversation. Well, I can ask her. It won't build a flirty relationship yet. More romance. Ask if single. She better still be single. This game has only been going for temps for one sim day. She better not have gotten to a relationship that quest. Quest? Quest. Let me try that again. Fast. There we go. Goody, goody, good. So y'all still acquaintances, right? That's good. That's good. She doesn't. All right. Let's tell a joke about penguins. Just building up this relationship. You know, because like I said, he's looking for his soulmate. All right, and then we're going to tell a dramatic story, because he could be a tad bit dramatic. Have a boyfriend or girlfriend go on two dates. Okay, we're going to go on a date with her, probably the next part. Go on the date with her, and then debate existence of vampires, okay? We're going on a date, ask her to be our girlfriend, then go on another date, then probably ask her to move in. Or should we have them get married before they move in? I'm going to have to redo her... Um, Wedding outfit since everybody's seen it. It's a real basic one. It wasn't, you know, over the top. It was just a basic white gown. So I'm probably going to have to redo that. <laughs> or not, hell. I don't even care. They are meant to be. And I'm thinking I'm going to dye his hair back. Probably not. She's unemployed. Good. <laughs> I said that. I'm like, yeah, good. She's unemployed. No, that's not good, but... She can get a job with us. Tell an engaging story. Wait, is she our friend yet? Our relationship has gone up a little bit. No, we're still acquaintances. A hug. Um, share photos. Just trying to get it up to friend. And then we can end this part here. Alright, Phil. Compliment. Debate existence of vampires. Alright, let's beat it up a little bit. You know, chatting away, you know. Coming good friends, right? Friends? Nope. Still acquaintances. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Friends? Nope. Still acquaintances. <laughs> um, let's give her a heartfelt compliment. And do an inside joke. Inside joke. That means we're friends. Yes, we are friends. All right. So I'm going to leave this part here. Go ahead and stop this. Go home, sir, because you need to get your ass in the bed. Alright, I'm going to leave this part here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you for part two.